Hey, peeps, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of my FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode playthrough. And, uh, I need a minute to get my bearings. It has been almost two months since the last time I recorded an episode of this, uh, because I recorded so many episodes all at once thinking that I was going to upload a bunch of them, and then I just it was not able to do that. This is actually the first time that I'm recording an episode for this since I decided to, like, revitalize my YouTube channel and, like, really take a new focus to it. So you should have all been seeing, like, you know, regular episodes been coming out for a while now, but for me, like, this is actually the very first recording I've done after making that decision. Like, I'm recording this in November, <laughs> And I don't, I'm not even sure when you're going to see this. It might even be January. That's how far out it's going. But I don't want to like wait till January to record episodes. So I'm going to record some episodes for this like here and there. So that at least like now and again, so that it stays fresh in my brain. And then eventually they'll sync up where I'll be recording shortly before the postings. But like I said, I, I posted so many I recorded so many episodes of these without actually posting them that like I just got way ahead of myself, and it just got kind of crazy. So today, I wanted to showcase some of the stuff that I've been doing because that's the other thing. Like I'm playing the game now because like I'm getting like reinterested in Minecraft. I'm making tons of Minecraft videos. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and because I'm doing all of that, like I just want to play. But like I can't play too much because then you I'll record the next episode and you guys will be like. What the hell happened? Like, I don't recognize any of this crap. So, I didn't want to do that to you. So, I decided I'm going to... Wow. That makes eight? Huh. Well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think one of them got destroyed by accident. Okay, so that's why I don't have any. Well, I'm good to go for a while now. That's actually impressive that that makes eight of those. Very impressive. And then... I think this is the recipe for the wire. Yes. Okay. We get way less of that. So one of the things that I wanted to do today is I wanted to make a sawmill. Because uh, in expert mode, I don't know if you've noticed, but every time I go to... I don't have an example right now. Every time I try to turn a log into planks, I only get two planks instead of four. And whenever you try to make sticks, like you only get two. And... Like, this, you know, so every time you need sticks, like, one log, one whole log only actually equals two sticks. Like, that's not a lot. Like, usually you would get a lot more than that. So, I figured, you know what, eventually it would be a good idea to have a sawmill as that gets you, like, a normal amount of planks. So, I, I think it's totally worth uh, getting one. So here's a situation where, starting off, we get an iron axe, which is one of the things that we can't actually use. It's for crafting only, but it's uh, obviously part of this recipe. I've already gotten the rest of the things that I needed. I'm pretty sure I've shown you a lot of these things in the past as far as like how to create them and stuff. So I went ahead and got the majority of the ingredients like ready to go. Obviously, there's like better versions of this. Like This one is the resonant one. So we could do that, but we're still, you know, more or less making basic machines because anything more complicated than a basic machine is pretty much, like, out of my reach right now. So we're going to slap that on top of it and connect it to that. Okay, so now uh, I don't have any logs. Damn it. Well, we can see it's charging. I haven't used any machines in a really long time. So, uh, I don't even know. I'm having trouble remembering what was the last thing I talked about since it has been a while. I watched, like, my old videos, like, recordings because I've been working on editing all of them. But I'm still having trouble remembering. So, there's the uh, MV capacitor. And it's got two hardened solar panels now. You know, so I feel pretty good about that. So, it's, you know, decent amount of power. I do want to talk more about power in a bit get away from me but right now i just want to kick this thing off i also want to start a tree farm somewhere nearby because i have to travel pretty far since there's uh, the mycelium 
all over the place. Like, there's not just regular dirt. So there's no trees in the immediate area. And the a lot of the trees, like, that were in the immediate area are gone. Because <laughs> I've been harvesting a lot of wood. I've been pretty busy doing stuff that requires wooden planks. And then I was like, man, like, I really should just make a sawmill. Like, this is silly. Because I was in my house, my new fancy house. And I was looking around, and I was like, you know what? Like, I have a redstone furnace. Clearly, I can make the material. If I can make that, I can make a sawmill. Like, it's not any more complicated to make that. Like, the hardest part about that is the machine casing. So I was like, well, if I made a machine casing for this, I can make a machine casing for the sawmills. Like, I really need to start thinking about machines. Because I spent a lot of time off camera just collecting logs. And it's just... And, and then only turning them into you know a, a minor amount of planks it's just like that is a giant waste of everybody's time so but yeah the other thing is i definitely want to hook up a tree farm somewhere in the area because i'm trying to move everything so you know the original house that we had was in the uh in like the side of the hill itself and so i've got all my stuff stored in there but I wanted to start relocating everything to be stored here in the house house. Because this is where it's all happening now. we got an actual real house. And that's where all the machines... Well, not all. I shouldn't say all the machines. There's still a couple machines at the other place, but still. Okay, so let's throw some logs in here. And there you go. Look at that. Six planks per log as opposed to two. That is amazing. We also get sawdust as a byproduct. And sawdust... Uh, can be turned into compressed sawdust as well. That is actually used for many things. I, off the top of my head, I'm not going to be able to remember what they're used for. But I know it's used for things that I'm going to want in the near future. Because I'm trying to do some... Look at that. Over a stack from 12 pieces. That is awesome. I don't know why it took me this long to think to myself, Hey, let's build that. I... I just, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. So there you go. So the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what we have actually going on right now. Because uh, you can see here, for just to refresh everyone's memories and mostly mine, uh, we've got a nice little farm going. The, the Pam stuff, like those products, like I'm not really using them. Honest to God, I mostly just planted them because I like the way they look. And eventually, I'm probably going to, like, re-harvest all of them and actually make this usable because I want to get, you know, like, better seeds. So, like, I'm going to have to do that at some point. Like, you, like, cross-pollinate or whatever the plants and it makes better seeds over time and then they eventually are, like, super awesome. So that's something that I want to be able to do eventually. But with the wheat... Uh, on the server that we used to run for FTB, I set up a very elaborate system where I was, uh, automatically harvesting the wheat and that was producing an insane amount of electricity from the culinary generators that was then powering all the various machines that were doing stuff with the wheat. It was also giving me ridiculous amounts of toast like literally i had like hundreds of thousands of pieces of toast of like extra that i didn't need so that was nice like i had endless food and a lot of power because the solar panels that i'm using right now are nice but it takes a lot of time to build those up because eventually i would have to make eight hardened solar panels and then that would lead to like one of the next level solar panel and then i have to make eight of those damn things it's just very time consuming so, I don't want that to be, like, my source of power. Like, I was going to stick another hardened solar panel right here. That's why I left that open. There's no piece of glass there. And after that, I was basically going to, like, you know, like, okay, that's enough. And I was going to leave these alone. And that would, like, I mean, like, look, it's still a million power. Like, it, it charges right back up after we used this and this. Like, so, it's fine for now. But eventually, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to... So, the first thing I need to work on is a harvester. So, the harvester is pretty insane. <clears throat> excuse me. Because uh, it needs plastic, okay? So, this is, like, the really hard part about it. I mean, the Invar is also a giant pain in the butt. Don't get me wrong. But it needs plastic. Ah, here's why I need the salt. See, I knew. I knew. Guys, Didn't. what did I just say? 
What did I just say? So this is why we need sawdust. So it needs sawdust and it needs rocket fuel. More on that in a second. And it needs raw plastic. And the raw plastic is, let's see here. Uh, looks like we can cook rubber bars. And it turns in, a rubber bar is being cooked, turns into plastic, apparently. Or just rubber. Rubber or rubber bars, apparently. That's cool, actually. That's a lot easier than I thought. Um, yeah. Looks like I can stick rubber in a redstone furnace and make plastic. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. But the rocket fuel is. So, to make rocket fuel... Um, no, not a bottler. What? No, not a fluid. No, we need the rocket fuel. Ah, no, not a fluid transpose. There it is, a vat. Thank you. Okay, so we need a vat, a V-A-T. This is an Ender I.O. thing. Uh, it's a little bit complicated. The hooch is not complicated. We'll get on to that in a second. But we take hooch combined with gunpowder. That is kind of complicated. I'm going to have to do some hunting for that. And redstone, and that turns it into rocket fuel. The hooch is not actually that bad. Hooch is uh, same machine, the vat, but it takes uh, any almost any kind of anything, including wheat, and we have tons of that. So we can just use water with wheat and sugar to make hooch. So we just have to start a sugar farm. So that's something I can work on here in the near future to get uh, to get started on that. But the vat, which is this cool looking machine, all the Ender IO machines are cool looking. They're all dark and sinister looking. Ugh. But they require, uh, the mats for this is pretty insane. But I also need this to build the thing that I want to build. Um, I need this for a lot of things. I need the vat to build multiple things that I'm thinking about getting into that are really going to cook, cook? They're going to kick this uh, series to the next level. But um, electrical steel, I don't think that's a big deal. I think... Yeah, we just need an, uh, oh, shizzle. Yeah, I need uh, silicon for that. I either need an alloy smelter or an induction smelter. Um, honestly, I'm not sure which. I'm trying to think, like, I know I need, I think I need the induction smelter for some other stuff more than I need an alloy smelter. Like, later on, I'm trying to think of, like, in the future. So I'd probably want to make an induction smelter. Uh, the silicon is... Not a huge deal. Uh, looks like we can just pulverize sand, actually. I didn't know that. That is not how I remember making this. I need to make a sag mill later on, by the way. That's for something completely unrelated. Okay, so apparently I can just pulverize sand. Well, that's good to know. But the... Um, whoops. Whoops. But yeah, so I'm going to need an induction smelter. I'm reversing engineering everything right now, guys. So that we can all see what's coming ahead here. Okay, the induction furnace or not the induction smelters are actually pretty nuts. Um, they're really useful. They do a lot of cool things. As far as like combining stuff to make alloys and whatnot. So we're gonna need more of the in the rest of these ingredients. So we're gonna need a lot of invar. Because we're gonna need invar for that a lot of that Ender IO stuff. We're gonna need it for this. So that's probably step one. Looks like that's probably step one. Huh. I can break invar stuff down with sand to, like, extract the invar out of it. That's weird. Anyway, um, let's see here. How do we... There it is. I wanted to see... The molten invar is... <sighs> I'm trying to remember what the ingredient is for it. It's two metals combined. I think Invar is, like, nickel? That's not helping at all. Oh, there we go. Yeah, iron and... Oh, no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, nickel, quote-unquote nickel, is not nickel. It's, um... Oh, shoot. What is it? It's... <sighs> Dang it. I can't remember. Uh, where's... There we go. Uh, nickel ore. Ferris! That's what I'm looking for. Ferris. Okay. So I need ferris ore. Okay, so that took uh, a really long time to figure out. It's friggin' nighttime now. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go to sleep. 
and then deal with that. Well, anyway, so today's episode was really just to help me catch up. For you guys, there's probably no break. There's probably no interruption in service. Like, this is just more of the same for you. But for me, like, I really needed time to figure some stuff out. But I really felt like I was depriving you. That I really felt like I was figuring out a lot of stuff without showing you what I was doing. Or I, It's been a while since I've talked to you for me. Again, not for you, but it's been a while since I've recorded for this series, so I really wanted to just kind of jump into it, you know, I was kind of like, I had like the recording bug was biting me, and it's just like, all right, I'm going to jump in, I'm going to record this and talk to them, so, uh, sorry that we didn't get too much actually accomplished, quote unquote, today, but we did get a sawmill, so the next episode, we're going to have a massive improvement to the storage situation, because now that I can get like a lot more wood, like way faster, uh, that's going to be a big damn deal for me, so I'm going to utilize that ability to fix the storage and get everything moved up that's going to be boring so i'm going to move everything from down in the original house up to here get a new storage system set up we're going to talk a little bit about the future of the storage and i'm going to try to get an induction which means i need to go mining because i'm going to have to look for ferris i don't know why it's called nickel or why it's not called nickel, like why it's not either called nickel or or if it's called ferrous in the other thing, because it's not in either. Do I have? I actually have an invar ingot, so I guess I've made ferrous in the past. That's how long it's been since I played this. I have thirteen ferrous ore. Okay, so never mind. I don't need to look for ferrous. I have enough to get me going. Is there any in here still? Invar? Because I have an invar ingot. No. I have molten steel. Man, I really gotta play this game more often. All right, so. Yeah, but there you go. I have Ferris. I have Iron. So I will start making some Invar. We'll get ready for the next episode. I'm going to try to at least make an induction furnace on the next episode. And by the time it starts, like I said, all the storage is going to be moved. You're going to see all that movement and get to mess around with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate the view and support as always. And I will see each and every one of you. On the next episode, laters!